Hello everybody. Great to be back. Magic Maths Day today. It's Thursday today. So a little recap of what we did on Tuesday and then we'll get started with something new. How did you get on with those shape hunts? I think I gave you the challenge of looking for circles, didn't I? And then Mrs Hopper challenged you again yesterday to look for rectangles. Very different shapes. Sarita's with me today. She's been getting involved as well. Don't quite know how she's done it though without magic maths glasses. I think I might have to make her some of those. I'm going to put mine on Sarita so we can really get our mathematical brains going. Is that all right, sweetheart? Okay, glasses ready, everybody. Hope you haven't lost them over half term. I've had to dust the dust off mine because I wasn't using them so much, was I? Let's hope that magic is still working. Are we ready? There we go. It worked on Tuesday, so I think they're working again today. That's great. Now, Sarita, what did you discover? about shapes, sweetheart. Well, she told me she discovered she'd got shapes on her beautiful dress, everybody. She noticed these beautiful red ones here, that they were circles and check the diamonds at the bottom. What shape are those? That's right, they're squares, they're squares. Wow. And we never knew that when she got that lovely dress from her auntie. She also had some lovely presents, you know, for Eid. She had some money and she noticed that some of the money was round. Not all of it, but quite a lot of it was round like this penny. She got sent a beautiful mirror. This came all the way from Pakistan. Isn't it lovely? Beautiful, beautiful. And then in this square box, you would expect to find a square present, wouldn't you? But look what happened when we looked inside. Something very unusual. Maybe you've got one of these at home. It's called a fidget spinner. It's not round. It has got some circles in it, so that fascinated us straight away. We could find one, two, three, four circles. But the thing I like about fidget spinners is when you spin them, you get to see that round shape. So watch it carefully. This is not round, but watch what happens. Move my fingers out of the way. And here we go. Look at the shape it makes when it spins. It makes a circle. How exciting. So we did have lots of fun, didn't we? Spotting those circles and a few squares. Now, before we get started with today's shape, we'll just get our mathematical brains going and see if you've remembered some of your numerals that we were doing before the half term holiday. Got to know these numbers guys, remember we must know our numbers all the way up to 20 really, really well. Now some of you might know your numbers up to 50 really well or even 100. I'm sure I know some of the clever mathematical clever clogs in my class that might do. People like Praise and Vida and Efe, Jessica, people like that, they know their numbers way beyond 20. So maybe they can be super, super wizards at these, but I'm going to do them quite quickly now because we need to get much, much better. Now, you should know this one because I've been holding it forever in a day. Number. Okay, let's get going. Next one. Next one. Gonna do them fast, guys, because you've got to get used to them now. You've got to know what they are. Say what you see. Say what you see. <gasps> super, super fast. These are big numbers, aren't they? Is that a big number? Ew. We know that one, don't we? That one was upside down, but not anymore. And the next one. We know that number. See that number a lot. And that way. This one. That one. I bet there's not many of you that are this age now. There might. There's a lot of you that have had your birthdays and you've changed from being that to being that. 
I know that. There were some more birthdays in the May. Harris has just had his birthday, I think. So happy birthday, Harris. There's another one. 15. <gasps> big, big number. And last but not least. Yep, just making sure it was the right way around. This one. How did you get on? Are you getting much quicker? You're remembering them, recognising them, that's good. Now, before we move on to shapes, we will just look at our special maths words as well and our symbols. Because what does this mean, folks? Doesn't mean across, does it? It means, I can hear you saying that, it means add. You're adding something together. What about this one? What's that one mean? That's right, equals. That's what we put before we get our answer. The answer is equals. And this one? You got it. Take away. Subtraction. And there's the big word that you might see beginning with a subtraction. Big, big word. Which means taking something away, doesn't it? So sometimes we might have one less in a group. Let me give you a little challenge. What is one less than five? One less than five. Let's look at my hands. There's five. One less than five would be four. And I'm sure you will have answered that before you saw my fingers. What about one more? What about one more? On Sarita's dress, I think she's probably got hundreds and hundreds of little tiny shapes. So if she's got 100 of these gold shapes, what would 100 and one more be? It's a big number. It would be 101, because it's one more. And the last one I'm gonna show you is this word beginning with an A, ah, addition, addition. A big word that means adding, adding something on. You're adding that one more on. You're adding that two more on. Okay, and actually we might have a go at doing some challenges where we're adding on more numbers now. Get those mathematical brains going even more. Anyway, Mrs Bowen, don't get distracted because today we're doing shapes, aren't we? Just put my shapes at the back there. So, the shapes that we've learned about already are circles talked a lot about circles and they were quite easy peasy ones to find I don't know about you but I found a lot of those in my house we haven't really talked about squares I don't think we need to do squares a lot do we because we know what a square is really and it is a kind of rectangle but Mrs Hopper will have reminded you in her challenge that with a rectangle you've got two short sides and you've got two long sides. It can look like that. You've still got your long sides and short sides, but that's what makes it different to a square. But today's shape da, 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 is triangle. Can you remember I told you words that have tri, tri in them usually mean three. So a tricycle's got three wheels. A tripod's got three legs and a triangle has got three corners, three sides. And actually, if that was a solid shape, if I could hold it in my hands, it would have three faces. All right, so a triangle. Mm, bit of a challenge, this one, bit of a challenge. So I went looking for triangles in my house and you'll see the photographs of those very soon. I also stepped outside and looked for triangles in my area where I live. And that actually was a little bit easier because yeah, well you'll notice on the videos and on the, and on the, um, the photographs why it was a little bit easier to see triangles outside. So my challenge for you today is not only to look in your house, but maybe if you can persuade your grown up to take you out for a walk, you can maybe go and see if you can find some triangles outside. Because that's where I found more actually than I did inside. It's quite an unusual shape really. Do you think you could sit on a triangle? 
I don't think so. Good, you wouldn't want that sharp pointy bit sticking in your bottom. No, you'd have to sort of turn it upside down and you can have triangles that go that way. You might have seen lots of triangles hanging up like that for VE Day in bunting. So you must remember that triangles don't always look like this. This one has got a very big name, it's called an equilateral triangle. That means that every single side is the same length. But triangles can be very, very long and thin and pointy. What makes it a triangle is those three sides. See, I can make a triangle with my fingers like that. Yeah, but it, it's those three sides that makes it a triangle. Well, I'm going to leave you now. We're just going to finish off with our little rhyme because that gets us in the mood, doesn't it? I'm going to leave you to get on with that and then you can see the photographs of the things that I found. And then I would love to see your photos or your collection of things that you find. I couldn't find a collection of triangles in my house. The things that I found were on objects. The triangles were like pictures on things. But you might have some triangle things in your house. I don't know, Sarita. They might do. We didn't, did we? No. So, shall we sing our rhyme together then? And then you can get cracking, you can get looking. With your special glasses on. Okay, so here we go. I'm going on a shape hunt. I'm going to look for shapes. I'm going to look under things. I'm going to look over things. I'm not confused. A square has four sides and a circle has no sides. I'm going on a shape hunt. I'm going to look for shapes. Today, I'm looking for and you're looking for triangles. Have fun everybody and I hope you find some and I will see you very very soon. Bye for now. Say bye sweetheart. Bye.